Uh, my name's Margaret Pratt. I'm talking to you because my husband, Roger Pratt, was murdered rather over five years ago in St Lucia. When I saw the DPP with my attorney, um, Leslie Prosper, in St Lucia in, in December, Mr Green was confident that we could probably be setting a trial date for um, late January. And the courts didn't reopen on time. That was early February. The, um, then it went back into what's called case management. And the first of the new case management uh, hearings was last Friday, the 8th of March. And I had some feedback yesterday uh, to say that the, um, a trial date has been set, but it's for the 4th of November. Still in 2019, but only just. And uh, obviously, this is this is a great disappointment. I was hoping for a trial date much sooner than that. Um, all the all the conversations I've had with with the people in St Lucia is that the trial's good to go. And um, why have further delay? Part of me is completely outraged that here we are, after, after more than five years, there's been another delay, and I don't have a high degree of confidence that a date set so far in the, for, in the, in the future will be able to be delivered. Um, so I'm trying to find out more about what drove that decision. Uh, whether there has been a reassessment of the criteria in, and the order in which these cases will be heard. There are, I'm told, about 100 cases that are outstanding. That's murder cases um, and, and in the system. Obviously, after a court, the courts have been closed in St Lucia for, for nine months. Obviously, there's a very significant backlog of other criminal cases that still have to be heard. Um, I am just so disappointed, A, that I don't understand the reasons and the drivers for this change, but also I, the case appears to have been slipped by about another, a further eight or nine months. The position relating to the other nearly 100 murder cases isn't fair to the people who, like me, are still mourning their loved ones and want justice and want resolution. And I guess, like me, will be facing these further levels of very significant delay. As and when I find out what's going on, I'll keep you posted.